The Shopify app challenge for 2021 kicked off just a couple weeks ago. So I figured this would be a great time to make a quick video going over how you can get started with Shopify app development, walk you through the setup, and show you how to build your first app. I've been getting more familiar with the Shopify ecosystem myself the past couple of months, and I've realized that there really isn't a whole lot of free material or even paid material that is up to date and really helps you to learn this process. So I wanna make a few videos going over what I've learned in case someone else is trying to learn the same thing and is struggling to find help. We'll be going over the documentation that Shopify has on their site, as well as using some of the tools they provide, like the Shopify CLI, the command line interface, to get us up and running very quickly. We'll be using the preferred tech stack of Shopify, which is Node, React, and GraphQL. If you're not familiar with this stack, you can still build Shopify apps with whatever tools you prefer. I can go over how to build Shopify apps using different tech stacks and using the REST API instead of the GraphQL API. So if that is something that you wanna see, let me know down in the comments and I'm gonna work that into later videos. But today we'll just be using the Shopify CLI to quickly create a project template for us that uses Node, React, and GraphQL. Let's get started. All right, so like I said in this video, we're just gonna be going through the setup and I'll take you through step by step um, and show you exactly how to get signed up for the Shopify partner program, um, install the Shopify CLI and get your app created. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you have Node.js installed on your machine uh, and make sure that it's an updated version. Uh, we're gonna need that in order to use the Shopify CLI. You can go to nodejs.org to download it directly or you can use something like NVM to get it installed. After you have Node installed, then you're going to want to make sure that you're signed up for the Shopify Partner Program. And if you just go to shopify.com slash partners, you'll be taken to this page. You'll be able to enter in your email address, click join now, and then just fill out a few more details, and then you'll be a Shopify partner. Once you're signed up for the Partner Program, you'll be redirected to a page that looks like this. This is the Partner Dashboard, where you'll be able to manage your stores, apps, and any themes that you're building. Since we're here, let's go ahead and add a development store that we'll use later on to test our app. So under the stores tab, you just come over here and click add store. Once you click add store, you're gonna see this page and you're gonna to wanna to click development store, come down here, add the, the test store name, add in a password and your login info. We won't worry about developer preview here. Um, that's my address, I'm gonna hide that. Um, and then at the bottom, it asks for store purpose and you, and you can just click test an app or theme and then you can click save. And then this is going to get our store created. So we'll just sit tight and wait for this to finish. Okay, our store is finished. So this is where we're going to be able to install our app and do a lot of testing. We can add mock orders and products and customers um, to really be able to test our app as if it were a live store. You would also use a development store if you were going to build a theme or set up a store to pass off to a client. Now that we have our store created, let's go ahead and jump into the quick start guide that Shopify provides. And I'll go ahead and put a link to this in the description, um, as well as links for everything I go through in this video. Step one of this guide is to install the Shopify CLI. Depending on what OS you're running, you can install it a certain number of ways. I'm on Mac OS, so I used Homebrew. You can just come to this link and just whatever, you, if you're running on Windows, and you can come and follow these instructions and get set up. Um, it shouldn't take long to get the Shopify CLI installed. And once you do, then we're gonna be ready for the next step. Once you've gone through and installed the CLI, then you can open up a terminal or command line and you can run the command Shopify version to get the version number and verify that it was installed correctly. So I'm on 2.1.0. Uh, it might have been updated by the time you're watching this, um, but that should be the way that you can verify if Shopify was installed correctly. Before we move on to step two, you're gonna wanna run Shopify login, and that will basically log us into our partner account so that uh, when we run the Shopify CLI commands, it's hooked up to the right account. So I'm just gonna sign in here and you can see it's pretty easy when you run it it just opens up a web browser you sign in after you're authenticated yeah it verifies right here i'm logged into my partner account now we're ready to take on step two which is creating a new project you're going to want to go into the folder where you want your apps to live i just have a shopify folder where i put all my projects um, you can do it wherever you want but once you're in your folder then you're going to want to run the command shopify node create this will create the app for us and ask us all the questions that it needs to set up the project. So it's asking for the app name. I'm just gonna call it our AA test project. Um, let's do a public app. And then here you can see all of my development stores that 
I have on my partner account. Um, so let's, this is the one we just created. So let's go on that one. And now it's actually building out the directory and building out the project and everything. So we'll wait a second for it to install all the dependencies and get the project set up for us. Okay, that's finished up. So now we can move on to step three, which is starting up the local development server. So go ahead and CD into the project that it created for us. And then once you're in there, then you can run the command Shopify node serve. And what this is going to do is spin up the development server for us. So you might get this warning that just says that you're going to, your store will be transfer disabled, um, which just means that you won't be able to transfer it to a client. Um, like if you're working for a customer or building a store or something, but we don't really care about that here because we're just building the store for, um, to test our own app. So yes. Okay. And then it's going to ask you to update your app application URL. You're going to want to click yes here and I can show you exactly what that does. Um, so when you go into your Shopify partners page or your dashboard, um, and you go into apps, you can see this is the app it created for us that wasn't there before. Um, so when you go into it, you can see, you know, your API keys and everything, but when you go into app setup, then this is where the app URL lives. And this is basically where Shopify knows to access your app. That's all it is. Um, so we do want to update that just because ng rock will be probably updating the URL every time we spin up the server. Um, so the CLI will automatically go in and change that for us. Um, otherwise you'd have to go in and change it out yourself every time you start up the app. Okay. So now if I refresh this page, then the URL should be updated. Yeah. So now we just wait one more minute for the server to finish starting up. Okay, so it is finished. You can see it says ready on localhost port 8081. If you don't know what ng-rock does, basically it takes whatever's running on our local host. Um, so in our case, it's port 8081 and it makes it accessible through the internet through a secure URL like this one. Um, so if you were to go to this URL here in particular, then you would see whatever's running on my local host. The last step here is to install the app on your development store. Um, so we have the app created now and the development store, so we just need to hook them up. The easiest way is to scroll up a little bit uh, in the terminal output, and there's a line here that says to install and start using your app, open this URL in your browser. So you can just copy this and slap it in your browser, and you can install it that way. If you don't want to install it this way, you can see there's a shop query uh, right here. So if this is for some reason the wrong store or something and you don't want to install on that one, you can also just come into the app itself in the partner dashboard, scroll down here and you can select the store that you want. That's another way to do it, but we're just going to do it this way since it's easier and that's the store that I want it installed on anyway. So now it's going to bring us to a page where we can accept um, the permissions and give this app the permissions that it needs uh, to work with our development store. So we'll click install unlisted app and we wait just a minute for that to go through. Okay, awesome. So now we have our app installed on our development store. You can see we're in our development store right now. And within this iframe right here is our app. And we can actually verify that this is actually our app running here. So if I just go into the um, project folder, then I can show you exactly uh, what I mean here. Um, so yeah, I just went into the folder and then I'm opening up the code uh, in VS code and then under pages index.js that is what we're seeing right here that is kind of the main page um, so you can see that there is the text here so if we can actually we can actually change this this was created with the Shopify CLI so when you save it then over here in the terminal you can see that yeah it says compiling and it basically just recompiles the code and updates it really quickly. So, so far we were able to get our app created, sign up for a partner account, uh, create our development store and hook up our app to the development store. So we're ready to just dive into the code and start building. I'm going to be posting a video soon going into the actual code and building out a simple app um, using the GraphQL API and Shopify Polaris, which is their design system. So definitely watch out for that. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss it if you're wanting to get into Shopify app development. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. There are still quite a few things that I'm learning about in the Shopify app development process. So I will be sure to update you guys as I learn more 
um, as I run into issues that I haven't been able to figure out through documentation or through forums or anything. So as I figure it out, um, I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm learning and hopefully it'll help at least one of you guys. Thanks for watching. And if you're not signed up for the Shopify app challenge, go ahead and sign up for that ASAP. I'll put the link in the description. It's an eight week challenge this year. And the goal is just to build something, which I think is great. No matter how simple the app, the most important thing is that you build something and you'll learn a lot along the way. One more time. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.